Welcome back, guys. We've been focusing on north side for quite a few episodes now. We're going to turn our attention away to the south side. Oh, yeah. Let's pause this because we can start building. Oh, yeah. Uh, right now, um, our goods factory over here is, is only producing around about 1,000 uh, rather than 1,600. And the, the goods are being routed to this station, then down to this harbour. They're being shipped by, by ship. <laughs> ship by ship down to uh, Wellington and then they're being distributed from Wellington and they're getting to Biggleswade and Eastbourne we can see um, oh even Eastbourne's not getting any goods at the moment and so well the goods are getting to Biggleswade but that's all uh, they're not getting up to uh, Chidley and Aspatriots so we're going to change it we're going to ship the goods by train directly to Biggleswade that is the plan so um, where should we start what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of do the interesting bits and then I'll finish it all off in uh, in a time lapse. But I thought I'd show you kind of the interesting stuff. So let's come down, let's come down here. So the line that we're going to be messing around with is is the the Ashby Big CM line, which is the construction materials line. So because we're we're also shipping construction materials from the stone to this construction materials plant and then bringing it in this way. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to quad track this because um, we've got a spare platform. We've got platform two is spare on here. So we're going to use platform two. So what we're going to have to do is rather than rather than this coming in like this, uh, we're going to have to put a track on either side. So the first job is, can we get those tracks uh, under here? And it's going to be interesting. Let's get rid of that and where do we want to run this from where are where are the switches so the switches are there so let's run a track from there so i'm going to remember to change the high speed so we'll run that through there so that goes in okay this is the one will this go in oh my lord yes it will Ho -ho! okay good news uh, i think that's about the same place isn't it yep cool and then it's just a simple matter of hooking this up to this and hooking this up to this 48 miles an hour that's bearable it's bearable all right cool so then we want to run these tracks they've got to go over this bridge under this bridge and into this tunnel let's see will they uh, so we want to go under there and into the tunnel and you know what that all seems to work okay staggeringly boom in we go let's run the other side in then if this goes in we are we're pretty golden oh yeah nice all right you're in boom sweet how fast is this bridge? I, I'm thinking this is a 75 mile an hour bridge. Let's find out. Yeah, 75. That's fine. You can live with 75 miles an hour. Okay, so then we're going to come through this tunnel. And then we've got to sort out this station. Now, the way this station works is, is a little bit weird. Because uh, it's we, we're sharing this track between two lines. Um, we've also got the, the big crude line which is shipping crude oil from this oil well down to this station. So, um, yeah, we can't really see it because this, this is on top of it. But yeah, it, it's coming down this this line, uh, this track. Then it comes into this central platform and then goes out on the other track. Well, we're going to have to make a bit of a change here because we've got to add in an extra couple of lines. So get rid of that. Get rid of that little bit of road. What we're going to do, we're going to put in a new station. Now, this is going to be a, uh, let's see, this is going to be five platforms. It's going to be 320 high speed, container, yes. Flip you around. Boom. All right, now, uh, we actually want our new trains on the inside, on this side. So we connect this up like come on come on there like that that'll do the job awesome 
So we need to change the way um, that this line is running because uh, instead of it instead of it being on this center line, it's got to move up to an an outside line. So let's run this all the way up. Where are you there? Uh, so let's run you up to about say there. Uh, in fact, where's the where's the switch? So I think it's about there. Yeah, go on. Let's, let's run you up to there then. Okay, so then we want to run it from the other side. Is that a better one? It doesn't seem, it seems to pixel off. Yeah, you know what? It doesn't matter. It's fine. Hook this up to there. Cool. All right. So, uh, this, this line, uh, instead of going down this track, needs to go onto this track. So, we get rid of that. And hook this up to there. Boom. Cool. Now, it hasn't switched over. Why hasn't it switched over? Well, because we've gone from two tracks in the center to a, a double track like this, um, the signals will be screwed up. So if I bring up the signals, I'm going to have to remove my old signals because they're, they're on the wrong side of the track. See, that should actually be uh, on this side of this track because the trains are going up here now, whereas before they were coming down here. So that's going to have to go. And any signals on this are going to have to go. And you, and you. Now, uh, hopefully, when I remove all of these signals, the line should switch over. We'll see. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Maybe there's another problem. Maybe, maybe there's something I've screwed up. It's eminently possible. So get rid of you and you and you. Oh yeah, and now it's working. Hooray! Sweet. Okay, so, uh, but there's a problem because it's going through. It's going through this platform. We don't want it going through that platform. We want it going through this platform. So, this train. Um, this train's on, well, <laughs> it's kind of on the right platform, but not quite. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll force it into the station uh, and it can figure its way out the other way. Uh, oh no, is it, yeah, it's on the right, it's on the right platform. But I wanna change this so that this goes into there. Right, now it's on the right line and the right track and everything, good. So, this one goes into here, cha -ching. This one goes into here, hooray. Okay, so that's all done. Uh, then this just needs to be double tracked down here and into an extra couple of platforms on this station. So let's bump you up by a couple of, couple of tracks, boom. So that's just got to be tracked. That's easy. Now, it's when we come down to here that things get a bit more complicated because this is, I, I, don't, I kind of don't like the way this is working. We've got, we've got five lines going into like eight platforms. Now we're, we're adding one extra, which is, um, which we're going to be double tracking down here. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five lines um, the biggest way crude couldn't connect to stations why not the hell's wrong with you I need to fix that now uh, so we've got we've got five lines we're adding a sixth but I, I don't like the fact that, that these tracks are all coming like in on this side and it just the, the thing just looks like unbalanced and I don't yeah I don't really like how it looks at all so we're going to make some like fairly major changes, I think. And the other thing is, I don't really like, I don't like having stations coming in at 90 degrees to another station because I don't know about you, I've never seen that like in the real world. So I think that needs to change. Now, uh, so we've got, we've got a couple of choices. We can either route this track in so that it comes into a platform like that, 
or we can route it so that it comes into a platform like that. Well, if we take a look at this, we've got a great big freaking hill here. So routing a track through here is less desirable. Over here, it's, it's a bit flatter over here. So I think, we, I think that's the way we're gonna go. So let's get rid of you, get rid of you. I'm gonna get rid of all of this, all of this guff. It's just, it's just cluttering the place up. It all needs to go anyway. We need to have some, some proper solutions in here. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of, come here. Yeah, get rid of you. And yeah, and rip this out. So when I rip this out, you'll kind of see just how like imbalanced this looks. It's just, it's just wrong. It's just da wrong, damn it. So let's, right, yeah, there we go. Right, yeah, so you can see we've got this coming in here, this coming in here. Now this center track isn't used anymore. That used to be used for, for bringing crude up from the docks, but it's not used anymore. So, I mean, we could, we could rip that line out if we wanted to. And, I mean, we could just reduce this to six, six platforms, run that extra line in, and then just leave that alone. But I think, I think it'd be nicer if we, I think it'd be nicer if we change it. Yeah, so so that's what we're gonna do. Um, so, first job, first job, demolish this station. But, and then we get rid of that bit. So that we're gonna have the station now, uh, let's say we want, Eight tracks, 320, high speed, blah, blah, blah. Flip you around. And then we want this there. Yeah. Boom. Okay. So we'll still have these guys occupying this end. So now what we need to do is get this coming round into here. So we want to demolish this. Bye bye. Uh, now I'm thinking that this is going to have to go back like quite a long way. Let's get rid of you. Because I'm thinking that this is going to probably have to go around the other, th instead of coming this way, I think this is going to have to come around this side of whatever this is. This is um, it's an oil well, I think. Yeah, it is. It's an oil well. So yeah, because this is gonna have this is gonna have to curve out like a fair way. So yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna have to go in that way. So let's just push this all the way back. And I just want to kind of get the the general line sorted out, and then we'll, we'll go to time lapse, and I'll finish it all off. So let's see. So we're coming over there. I yeah, I think, and we're gonna have to come back like right to here. Okay. Right to the beginning of the bridge. I think. May end up going right back to the platform. It's evidently possible. Let's have a quick flatten of this before before I start on the new. What the hell's going on there? Oh, that's a, I was thinking, I was thinking that was some strange bit of terrain, but it's the smoke from the trains when they get moved. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I need to get rid of this as well. Don't I? This is less important because we're not going to be touching this bit. But let's just let's just get rid of it. Yeah, there we go. Right. So let's um, let's see how we're going to do this bit of track here. So. I'm not sure which platform we're gonna come into, but. So, I'd like to keep this up around 80. 80 would be acceptable, I think. Now, what are we doing with the track, is it? Yeah, it's kinda, of, it's not too, not too all over the place. So if we, if we put you in, uh, let's try that again, we put that in. Again, I'll try and keep it up to around 80. Yeah, it's gonna have to go that side. Yeah, for sure. Oh, 
Okay. But we've got this. We've got this little lumpy, bumpy bit. Be kind of nice if we could actually root it. Kind of. Let's see. If I put in, if I put in a bit like that, flat. It's a bit lower than that, isn't it? I'd like it up a bit, but let's let's just raise the terrain just fractionally. Uh, I mean, literally fractionally. So if we have a bit of track going like that now and flatten it, there we go. That's much, that's much closer. So yeah, bring you in. I think we're going to have to push that track right back to the station. <laughs> to come around here. Oh, okay. So is that is that missing? It's not. I think this bit of track here needs to be a bit straighter. So I'm, I'm thinking more more like that. God. Okay. Let's assume. Let's assume that that's how it's going to be. How would this work? Okay, well that's not that's not very nice. And yeah, and we're clipping the edge of that, which I don't really want to do. So we're gonna have to come out a bit more than that. Speeds are okay. Let's bring let's bring this out. See that? That's a bit better. You know what? I, I, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and do this. So that we we don't disturb that hill at all, if we possibly can. So let's do. If I say come out, fl uh, yeah, come out flat. Yeah, it's tricky. It is tricky. Okay, well, if we if we bring it out flat, say to there. So that we're definitely going to miss this hill, and then we'll say, "Bring this." Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking we, man, I am thinking that this needs to climb a little faster to to get to get this right. So, okay, so if we start from there, that's where we're going to have the the flat, straight bit of track, and that's fine. And then this bit coming around here, we'll say we don't want you, um, we don't want you flat. So we'll start start to raise it up there. Okay. So if we did that, then bring it around. Now, now what do we look like? Uh, speed is just about okay. That bit of terrain is kind of sort of. This needs to dip down a bit more here, so that it's actually coming down rather than get it. Because I think that's actually going up there. So what about what about like that? Ah, see now we don't have that stupid bridge. Hooray! What about if we just drop it down a notch? That's better. Not a problem at this end. I think maybe bring it down even another notch. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're digging in a little bit at this end, but I don't mind that quite so much. So, yeah, I think, well, I think we're going to go with that. I think we're going to go with that. Right, so we've got our line in on this side. We've got rid of our old line, so it's a bit tidier. It's definitely a bit tidier. Cool. So now what we need to do is um, uh, is reroute these tracks. So we've got the extra line coming in here, and I think it would be nice to redo this tunnel entrance. See, I am looking. I am looking at this and thinking, uh, is this this is just 
curving just a tiny bit too much. But I don't think it's enough to warrant changing the station. What this needs to do is come, like, this needs to come straight a bit longer before it curves round into this station. And then we'll have something potentially quite nice. Okay. So this is cool. Um, obviously we need to double track that, that's fine. And now I need to figure out the platforms, but the platform shouldn't be too much of an issue. If we bring up, boom, 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 boom. Oh, of course we can't see them at the moment because <laughs> they're all disconnected. But yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out which which platform, which uh, which lines are gonna go into which platforms. So we've got, um, these these ones should be showing up though, like the um, the TFA1 goods should line should be showing up. Oh no, because I've changed it, I've moved the moved the platforms around, haven't I? Yeah, so um, let's see. Uh, the goods line was on the inside, wasn't it? <laughs> was it on the inside? I don't know, I think it was on the inside. So that means it would now be coming into platform three. So if we put you on platform three, yeah. That's that. And then the slag. Surely the, I thought both the slags were going out there, but I think one of them. Oh yeah, 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 because, ah, I've just remembered now. We're making steel here. We ship the slag by truck round here to here, and then we have to ship it up to there. So yeah, that should be running on platform seven. So you, should be on terminal seven. There we go. All right, cool. Yeah, so having having sorted those out, uh, we know that this line is going to come into into here now. Um, but I need to I need to hook that up. So I've got I've got terminals one, three, and seven taken up. All I need to do is get these tracks hooked up, make it look pretty, get them all uh, get them all assigned. Right. So shall I get on and do it? Yeah. I think, um, get on and do it. Keep the time lapse. And off we go. Shrek and Donkey on another whirlwind adventure. So um, there was one bit that I didn't tell you that I was gonna do, which is this station that we're going out to at the goods factory. We've got one station where the plastic comes in and we've got a separate platform, uh, a separate station at like 90 degrees to it where the, the planks come in. And what I meant to tell you was that I want to combine those into a single station. So there we go. Rip out the two stations, and then uh, I put a nice little, nice little road around it because I'm going to, I'm going to put some extra buildings around that. And then I put in a very curved station around the back. And I think that this, I think this is a much, much better solution. It's much tidier, it's much cleaner. And this is what you're gonna be seeing like a lot more of going forward. It's gonna be a lot more of these, you know, just tidying things up to, to nicer solutions, cleaner solutions, more efficient solutions. So sorting out, sorting out places where we've got, you know, like um, conflicts on platforms and stuff like that. And, and bridges and tunnels, which aren't very nice, getting those sorted out. I'm definitely getting better at getting the roads smooth and stuff like that. But it's like anything, it's like the more you do it, the, the better you get at it. But that is, I'm so happy with that, that's a much, much better solution. So, redo the stations to get the, get the lines working again. Well, get the, get the planks working. Now I've just got to finish off putting in the this one. This bridge was a bit too long, so I raised the terrain to get a shorter bridge, and I like that bridge. I put in one of those modern viaduct bridges. They did look good, they did look good. I think we're gonna be seeing more of those as well, because I talk about it later, when because we, we're gonna do some tri train rides in a bit, and um, the when they've got the girders and the whatever, they do kind of get in the way of the view, so. I think we'll be seeing a few more of the the modern bridges going in. So that's all done. Need a bit of train smoothing, make it look nice. And now we get to work on this. 
which um, I knew was going to be not, not like really tricky, but I knew it wasn't going to be just like slap it straight in. Because it, it's a question of getting this these tunnel entrances to, to look right and look good. So I thought, you know what, rip it all out, start again. I raised up the, um, the terrain to make sure that I could get nice tunnel entrances. And then I wanted a clean entrance on this side. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna slap in a road to create like a nice, a nice cliff face. And then hopefully when I run the, the tunnels, uh, run the tracks out, it should give me nice tunnel entrances. But I thought I, I, wanted, I wanted the tunnels a little bit further over to the right. So I thought I'd run a bit out straight. And the other thing when I started doing it was like, I want these tracks to be centered. So I created two centered tracks and then ran all the other tracks off that. I, I actually did this properly, you know, making sure that I was starting from exactly the same place on all the tracks and it was all nice and neat and even. And the same with this, running the tracks out to the to the centre platforms first, and then running the tracks out to the outer platforms. Bit of, bit of, bit of trouble with that tunnel. I, I missed a bit. There we go. And then all those in. They all look pretty good, pretty nice. And hook up the final one, which is the uh, the oil line, the the Biggleswade crude and oil. Little bit of terrain smoothing just to make it look nice. And there it was. That's that's that section done. Now I've got to put in my uh, my switches so that we can get to the right tracks and stuff. And create the new line. I, I put it in as pink so that it stands out really clearly so that we can we can see it really easily. I have to make sure that it's on the right platforms. And then I realized that I'd actually missed a, <laughs> missed a whole section of track out that I hadn't put in. It was like, why isn't that going in? Oh, that's why. So now it's working, but it's all on one section. Uh, it's all on one side of the track. Couple of signals, done, there you go. Okay, so I've put all the signals in and smoothed a bit of track out and stuff like that and got everything on the right platforms and everything. So we should be ready to rock and roll. Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out when I start it up. Okay, so we want some trains. What are we going to put on here? I think we'll go with uh, some nice electric trains. I think we'll go... You know what? Should we have these, these Porsches? Yeah, go on. <laughs> Let's have the Porsches on there. So we'll have a Porsche with... Now, what are we going to... Now, I only want to carry goods. Nice. How many trains are we going to have on here? I'm thinking probably four. Um... Uh, yeah, one at this station, one at this station, one coming this way, one going that way. Yeah, I would think four. So, come on, three and four. Set them on, line, Ashby Big Goods. Woohoo! And we're done. Right. So, we'll, um, we'll, cr you know what? Let's crank this up. Let the trains get moving. And we'll actually ride on the goods and we'll see, like, do they get up to Aspatria? That's what we want to see. So, the trains are running. We haven't got any warnings at the moment, so that's good. That's a good sign. I mean, it's eminently possible that some trains might have got flipped around. Doesn't happen very often now, but I mean, it still does happen, so we'll see. So, are we getting goods put onto, uh, onto um, Ashby Big Goods? That's what we want to see. We want to see some goods being put on here. Oh, here comes a here comes a train with potentially some goods, but no. It's picking up plastic. There will be a bit of a delay getting goods because obviously I demolished this station and got rid of any goods that were there, but there's plenty of goods there now. So you're gonna load up. 
He's dropping off the plastic. Now he's loading up with a full load of goods. You know what? What the hell? We'll, we'll, we'll ride this one back then. So, we've got a full load of goods. When they get to the other end, where are they going to go? That is the big question. Let's come up to the side of the train so we can see better. There we go. Now, these are just old 218s, but I think, like, at least for now, I'm going to leave those old 218s on, on here. I think they're fine for this. Right, and in we come. Right, pause for a second. Slay down, because we want to see where do they go. Where do the goods go? They should get put onto Ashby Big Goods. Now, some may get put onto A1 Goods. Yeah, some are going to A1 Goods. But the vast majority are going to Ashby Big Goods. <laughs> Hooray! Something's worked. Sweet. And here comes... An Ashby Big Goods train right now. Let's get rid of that. Let's jump on board with you. Door all done up in your Porsche paint job. Aren't you flashy? So. Boom. Now, um, pause. Just before, just before we ride on that train. What I wanted to look at over here was. Um, and I meant to show you this and I didn't. But you remember we had production was around about a thousand. Oh look. The productions jumped straight up and it was because if, if I'd looked at the details which I meant to show you and I forgot the uh, the potential was only around you know 900 now we've got potential of 2000 which means that we'll we'll produce max this this should go up to is he still going up Let's see was he waiting for no he's got platform he's got plastic he's got logs we'll see if that goes up to 1600 right pause we're going to go back, jump on our train, don't we? Yes, we do. Oh, here we go. You all loaded up now? I think he's all loaded up. And we're on our way. Very cool. What do you want? Do you want a, do you want a bit of a first-person ride on this? Or do you want a third-person ride on this? Well, I guess we're going through. That's turned out kind of okay. I might mess around with it a little bit more. See, what it needs... Right, first of all, is it needs these trees and bushes removing from the cliff face. They don't look good. There we go. That's better. Uh, get out of there. There we go. That's better. So, yeah, let's, um, let's jump down to first person. I wish, I actually, I wish there was a, a button you could just switch between first and third person or a key I, I don't know whether there is one I mean the only way I know how to get out of this is just hit escape and here we are coming into the Biggles Wade Valley this is pretty nice without even any more dressing up but it will get dressed up oh yes oh yes There may come a day when the strength of men fails at decorating, but it is not this day. <laughs> oh no. That rock needs to go. It's a mess. Oh, I, seriously, I'm freaking so ridiculously excited to see if these goods get transferred all the way to Aspatria. It will be so awesome. After like 70, what, 70, where's this episode, 77? Yeah, I think it's episode 77. 77 episodes to get goods to Aspatria. Oh, we're whizzing along. And this is a nice bit of track out here. Because we come out of this, go under this nice green bridge. And we go over this railway bridge. Slowing down to 75. And then we come into this huge station at Biggleswade. Mind you, I mean, I suppose it's only the same size as the one that we've just left, but I don't know, there's just something about Biggleswade, Biggleswade which is just huge. I love Biggleswade. Okay, so we arrive into Biggleswade. 
Now, what we want to see is what happens at Biggles Wade Station. Where do the goods go? Where are they going to go? And we've got some going to Chudley. We've got some going to Eastbourne. Oh, awesome. We're, we're dividing it up between Eastbourne and Chudley. And of course, some of it will have gone over here to be distributed uh, into Biggleswade. Cool, awesome source. Uh, in fact, some of it will have gone to that station. So we've got um, 61 going to, yeah, there's, there's, there's two lines here that go, they both go to the avenue. I, I reworked all of this because originally we had four four stops. I, you know what, it doesn't matter. I, I, we'll cover that when we do, like when I, if I go town by town, which um, I think there's a good chance of it. We'll, uh, we'll go through that. Anyway, some gets put on there, some gets put on here. Yeah, we've got 8177. So there's, there's quite a lot that's going to Biggleswade. And then, um, yeah, we've got some going to Eastbourne. Now, I think we're going to follow Chudley. So, yeah, go. Now, this is a Chudley, is this a Chudley Goods train? Oh, that's the Eastbourne. That's the Eastbourne. Hang on, how can that be an Eastbourne train? Oh, uh, that's also yellow. Okay, well that's that's good. No, 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 that can't be. I, really? Oh, they share a platform. Hang on a second. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at how, how we're set up here. So, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're sharing platforms. You know what? We've got enough platforms that I could I could potentially move things around a bit. Well, I'm not going to do it now, but. See, that again is the kind of thing that I could do in a Biggleswade episode. I mean, to be honest, Biggleswade could probably do with two episodes because it's so freaking big and complicated. But but yeah, that's the kind of stuff. Um, so where where are we then? So um, are you, are you're you pulling in, aren't you? Yeah, right, here we go. Are oh, you waiting to pull in, I guess? You're waiting for that. See, this is the thing. It would be a good idea if I if I did move those around so that they're, they're not sharing platforms. I think we have we got enough platform. Yeah, I mean we've got enough platforms. We could space them out onto each having their own platform. That would be that would be really good. Anyway, off we go. Let's get you let's get you in and loaded up. So he's bringing in um, food, tools and machinery, and boom. And what are you going to load up with? You're going to load up. You're going to load up with goods. <laughs> oh my God, you're loading up with loads of goods. 120 goods. All right, let's jump on board Barney. Let's slow Barney down a bit because Barney's going hell for leather at the moment. Oh, I, I gotta say, I do like these these British Rail. What are they? Class forty sevens? I think they're class forty sevens. See, uh, yeah, class forty sevens. Really, really nice, classic British diesel trains. Go under the bridge. But you can see these these trains are waiting. We could definitely speed things up and like improve things generally by uh, just just changing those platform assignments. Will mean messing around with the them a little bit. But it'd be worth it. Let's go first person. This is Chudley Valley after all. It doesn't get better than Chudley Valley. Wait to oh man, wait till I decorate this and put the fields and hedgerows in. Oh, 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 oh my god, it's gonna be so freaking awesome. And I've decided what I'm gonna do as far as um, riding the trains. What I'm gonna do is as as lines get fully decorated, so it's like the final finished version, I'm gonna do ride videos. And what I'll do is I'll I'll record a journey in uh, from four or five different angles, and then synchronise the tracks, and then we'll and then put it together so that it's a so we're riding along, and I can just cut between the different views. And that's going to look really, really good. You know, there'll be like a third-person view, a first-person view, uh, probably another third-person view, and then maybe some static shots as it's going under bridges and. Stuff like that, and into tunnels and whatever. It should be kind of cool. Right, we pull up, pause, jump out, and let's see how much is going to Chudley and how much is going to Aspatria. That's the question. So we want to see Chudley Aspatria goods. I'm pretty sure 
the Aspatria fuel might be able to carry goods. I'm not sure. I, I, can't, I, can't, I don't remember what's on that one. Uh, but also, some of the goods is going to go over here to fuel and goods to be to be distributed into Chudley itself. So let's see. Uh, I want uh, no, no, no. I want the station, and I want where are we? Uh, yeah, we just want we just want the station, don't we? Yeah, we just want the station. So, so I put them closer together because it's easier to watch them. Then. And if I put them like on the same line, there we go. So, what's going to go on the Chudley? What's going to go on Aspatria Goods? And the... Oh, yes! We're getting some going to Aspatria. Now, like, Chudley's never had goods before. So, it's kind of understandable that it's stealing the lion's share, like, straight away. But, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Like, over time, Aspatria will get more. But, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And the thing is, all we want to see now is those goods actually get delivered. So, we've got 13 goods to send to us, Patria. Holy crap. And there was much rejoicing. Now, these trains need to be upgraded or whatever, but I'm not going to do it now. So, you. Let's speed you up. Let's get you in, get you loaded up. So, you unload all your food, and you load up with your 13 goods. Awesome. Let's slow you down. Get rid of that. Jump on board. And let's, let's just go first person, because it's, like, that is not a particularly nice train to look at. But the run-up to Aspatria never gets old for me. Just imagine when this is all, like, properly hedgerows and fields, and it's going to be so beautiful. I, these bridges and stuff, I'm going to have to replace them with modern bridges. And I'm seriously, seriously thinking about getting rid of the catenaries. And there's a couple of ways that I can do it. Um, neither of which I'm like overly happy with, which is why I haven't done it yet. But that is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed us up through the tunnel. Let's whiz through the tunnel, because tunnels are boring. Right. And now we're into the open. See, this, this area here needs to be smoothed off a little bit. But, oh man, looking out of this, Again, get rid of the girders on the bridge so that we get a nice clean view out here. All fields and everything on both sides. Oh, it will be something to behold. There are times when I'm just looking at it and I just lose the power of speech because it's like, I, what do I say? It's like... It's, it looks so good. There's just no words. There are words to describe those ugly no-habs. I mean, I did no, Don't get me wrong. I do like the no-habs. And like when you first get them in the game, they're awesome. But like now, there are, there are nicer things to have. This this needs doesn't need flattening. It just needs the top smoothing off a little bit just so that it's even and like this does need flattening out here and obviously that's horrible that needs sorting out so much there's always terrain smoothing to be done so we're waiting for this train to get out of the way so let's let's speed you up you get get your filthy stuff out of the way and then we can whiz into the station Woohoo! in we go okay let's jump out right so this is going to arrive now, um, we've got, this is Aspatria Fuel and Goods. I think this is the, uh, oh yeah, this is the fuel. This is the long fuel line. We've got fuel being trucked in from, um, from, where is it? It's, um, oh, from here. Yeah, we've got fuel being trucked in from here. Now, i tell you what we could do. Uh, we It would be possible to put a little bit, Put a couple of fuel trucks on here and actually bring it in by train potentially no no bad idea it's it's fine as it is leave it alone okay so we should be seeing the goods appearing yes the goods are appearing have you picked them up no you've got 17 tools where am i where are my 13 blooming goods who's somebody already nicked them you've got food where are my 13 goods that's them uh, they're not. I'm just wondering if they've been stolen by something. 
No, no. Where are my blooming goods? Now, have you got more goods? No. Seriously, who's nicked them? <laughs> who's nicked them? Where's the line? Uh. Seriously, we had 13 goods. We've only got four now. You haven't got any. You're only carrying tools. You're going to the station. You reckon you're carrying food. Oh, guys, I think we've got a black market smuggling operation. <laughs> it's like, hey, I've got some goods for you. Where, where do they come from? Oh, it's fallen off the back of a lorry. Um, seriously, like, I wish I'd been watching. Yeah, like, where else could they have gone? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know what? Let's let's carry on. Seriously, we're, like, we had 13 goods. Where have they gone? Hang on, pause. Have, have they already been distributed? Oh, yeah, there's, there they are. There they are. We've got four here. We've got... Oh, I was messing around longer than I thought. All right, well. We'll see these delivered, I guess. You, What are you going to pick up? You're probably going to pick up, like, the fuel and stuff. Let's let's crank this up till somebody actually picks up the, the goods. You're probably going to pick up the food. Yeah. Maybe the next one will pick up the goods. Get rid of that. Yeah, uh, I don't know, you know. We've got more likely to pick up the food. What did you, what did you pick up? Yeah. We, may, You know what? We may even have to wait for the next train to arrive. Are you bringing more goods? Yes, another 14 goods. That'll give us 18. That'll actually give us a chance of getting them moved. Here we go, we're up to 15. Where's the others? Okay, what are you gonna pick up? You're gonna pick up tools? God, man, they're doing this deliberately. I mean, look at these. <laughs> these roads are so ridiculously steep. How would a truck get up there? Like, not in a million years. That's food. I guess the next one's gonna be getting food as well. Yeah. Man, we might have to wait for even more goods to arrive. And here they are. Now we're getting goods. 50 goods to be delivered. And it's the most of any product there. So this should be it. You, my little friend. Say hello to my little friend. Yes, goods. Pause. Put it on normal speed. Jump on board. Let's go and have a look at these horrible roads. <laughs> because, I've got to say, the roads in Aspatria... Some of them, not very smooth. Hang on. Oh, I've got that truck station open. That looks horrible. Let's do that. And jump on board. Go. Here we go. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> like, serious, there's no way. There's no way a 40 ton truck would get up that hill. Now, it's not a long journey to drop this off. Oh, God, there's so much terrain smoothing that needs to be done anywhere that it's a bit hilly it's oh dear it's all over the place and you get you get like scenery bits of scenery floating in the air and all kinds of nonsense going on but we're almost there we've almost done it we've almost completed the ride come on is this where we drop it off probably is is it yes it is and there we go, all the goods dropped off, and Aspatria has goods. Woohoo! There we go. Aspatria. Look at this. 7%. And that's gonna that's definitely gonna go up. Definitely, definitely. How's Chudley doing? Chudley, Chudley, 65% flying. Um, let's turn the blooming signals off. That'd be a good idea. Let's go down. Eastbourne, are you getting goods? We I mean we know that it is. Yep, 56%. Loads. Biggles Wade. Because wage should be way up. Yeah, 99%. And what about Wellington? Wellington, yeah, loads. Because because it's getting its goods coming round uh, coming round by sea. So there you go. We have now completed EPEC for South Side. So South Side is completed. North Side is completed. The only thing we've got left is the four towns in West Side. Machine tools. Uh, sorry, machines, tools, and goods. So, if you want to see that, or it'll be pro most probably be something else in the next episode. I have no idea what I'm going to do in the next episode, so shut up, Sky. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.